pretty bad lighting in here. We've got a storm sort of brewing and <laughs> it's cool change that's come through. So the lighting is bad and I'm still missing a couple of globes. So hopefully it's okay. So um, I have a cold. I'm on like day five or six of being sick. So I look like a right mess. Excuse me. <laughs> Usually I do a shop on a Wednesday to be delivered on a Thursday. And... Um, what happened is I went to put a Woolworths online shop through and at the last minute realized they were now charging $19 a month as a base rate for any delivery and I was getting it free because I was buying so much. So I didn't put my order through. <laughs> and then yesterday, while sick in bed, I did a Coles online order. Now, I didn't want to do an online order because I was wanting to shop just at like LD and my outlet store and maybe a bit of Costco but we really really need food in the house the fridge is a bear I'll show you in a minute actually and that's after my husband going out a couple of nights ago to get a couple of things that stuff is just gone that's what happens when you've got a family of 11 <laughs> So we really desperately needed some stuff and I was not up to going out yesterday at all. So, so today I've had a Coles online delivery arrive. So I've now done a Coles online shop for the first time in years. I did used to do, oh, you're doing funny drawings. <laughs> so I've got Josephine and Isaac doing drawings up there. They're being lovely and quiet. Daniel has just fallen asleep in his high chair while I put things away. I needed to put him somewhere safe while the delivery guy was coming in and out the front door. I will move him shortly. Yeah, so I used to shop at Coles quite often online and then I was really unhappy with the quality of their meat and that's really the only reason I shopped. I shopped, I stopped. I stopped shopping <laughs> there. But um, free delivery because I spent over a certain amount. Now I kept some of my budget for going to Costco. Tomorrow is my um, eldest daughter Ava's birthday. She's turning 14. So I can't really do anything tomorrow. So I'll see how I feel tonight. Um, otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I really want to get to Costco because they've got some things I still want. But anyway, so I, th everything I got today, I'll tell you now before I forget, $478 and some change. As you probably know, for our family of 11, my shopping budget is around $800 every two weeks. And that price does include all our toiletries, baby products, household products, all of that sort of stuff. So before I forget, I'll show you in my fridge, so in my kitchen fridge, I have some eggs that Anthony got, and some cheese that Anthony got, and a little bit of milk that Anthony got. And, and I still have the teeny from when we went to Costco. For some reason, I haven't used that. Everything else is pretty much used. Some mandarins that Anthony got. A few loaves of onions. Josephine's leftover breakfast. So, not much at all. <laughs> yeah, you can eat it. <laughs> in the fridge in my laundry. Uh, this is where I keep, like, more bulky things. And as you can see, there's, like, nothing I need to cook up. I got these out of the freezer last night, so I'll cook them up now. I might have sausages for lunch. And then this, I made a pasta salad for the kids to take to school today, so that's what's left for that. So that's what the kids here will have for lunch today, too. I got uh, a thing of soda water left over from the outlet store from a couple of weeks ago. So I'll probably enjoy some of that tonight. An empty kitty cup. Uh, Anthony's half drunk Cokes and. Um, half drunk <laughs> linseed meal or flaxseed or whatever you want to call it some cream um, oh and that's some leftover egg I don't know if that's still alright I might throw that out that's from probably three days ago I don't know guys if you mush up an egg how long does it keep for I will throw it out <laughs> I'm just asking for future reference 
I can also tell you that my deep freezer is pretty bare apart from a couple of things of meat and one loaf of bread it is bare so up here in my pantry weekend snacks school snacks kitty snacks they're empty this is all pretty good all of my teas I know it's ridiculous um, but my favorite at the moment one I'm only pretty much only um, drinking is red seal <laughs> because it's a uh, you can put it in cold water so I do that and then things like chia seeds and nuts and prunes and a little bit of coffee and that sort of thing you know one thing I've got some dark chocolate in there I have pretty much not had any chocolate since I have been pregnant with this baby how weird is that has anyone else got off chocolate when they're pregnant and then yeah I mean I still have a few bits and pieces I still have some pasta there so you know in desperation I would be able to feed my entire family probably for another day or so <laughs> I don't want to have to do that so it's good that the shop is done I ordered half a cabbage now I'm, I'm disappointed in the size of this cabbage it is very very tiny luckily I still have a little bit in the fridge so I would just use the two together to make I'm making chow mein or egg roll in a bowl some people probably would think of my chow mein um, so yeah I've already got a little bit in the fridge and the two together will be fine but anyway lemons because, you know, there's the idea that I should be drinking lemon tea. <laughs> pumpkin. That is a Kent pumpkin. They're my favourite. In here, and this is a plastic bag. In here. <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't do plastic bags here in Australia anymore. Or at least in Melbourne. But they've gotten away with putting a couple of iceberg lettuces in a plastic bag. We do still do little plastic bags. And obviously lots of packaging and stuff though which is still too much so avocados got four of those i got some grapes they are going down in price i think this amount was still like seven dollars something but that sounded nice and then i got three lots of asparagus and i'm just gonna chuck them in something they were a good price and i love asparagus i got some oranges three kilo of them and lots of onions they're tiny though <laughs> but it says i'm perfect Right, anyway, three kilo of onions. Got some tomatoes and also some cucumbers, some mushrooms, and some spring onion. Two bags of carrots, and that'll be mainly. I'll probably put them in a couple of meals, and otherwise we will just snack on them. And then a couple of cantaloupes. These are not, are not looking overly ripe yet. It's probably not quite the right time of year yet, but I ordered. <laughs> 10 kilograms of washed white potatoes because they were a really good price like it was costing me i don't know i think under five dollars now the 10 kilo bag i ordered it as one bag was out of stock so they've substituted five two kilogram bags which is probably quite handy and i will keep them in the fridge so they last a bit longer i find that they the potatoes last i don't know if you're not supposed to keep them in the fridge but I find they last longer um, so that's what I'll do I'm actually starting some freezer meal prep very very soon what I'll probably do is use some of these potatoes <laughs> in those meals because I don't think we're going to go through 10 kilo of potatoes in two weeks I don't think we will three bags of instant noodles um, I will use some of those in the egg roll in a bowl that we do um, for the kids ones at least Anthony and I won't have them and then I like to have some in the pantry just because the kids eat them for snacks sometimes after school or on the weekend for lunch wheat mix and cornflakes two boxes of cornflakes that's generally the only cereal we eat apart from oats I do get rolled oats we make porridge and that sort of thing and I'm, I'm down to this many oats which is like scary for me I forgot to order more so I'll have to get them somewhere this week and I actually made an oat slice a really simple oat slice in the oven last night because I knew we didn't have anything for breakfast this morning so I threw an oat slice together with oats and coconut sultanas a little bit of maple syrup and milk put it in the oven 
and it's really yummy and then some of the kids have had some maple syrup on on it i tried some maple syrup on it but i found that far too sweet i like it by itself though it's really nice four big tins of fruit salad that's just because the weather is starting to get nicer and um, people are starting to really feel like some fruit or whatever after dinner um, so that's sort of a healthier dessert um, uh, soda water i put um, fruit tea bags in this or just some lemon juice um, brown sugar for baking and uh, we will be doing some baking tomorrow morning we have people coming around uh, tomorrow afternoon zuper dupers because the weather's getting better these ones are no sugar and they're actually um, sweetened with stevia and erythritol so I'm really happy with that so I'm looking forward to these because I enjoy the odd super duper. <laughs> um, this rice was half price and it's the one I tend to get uh, and it's basmati. So I grabbed that while it's half price even though we don't actually need it. Pear slices, two things of that. Dishwasher noises in the background. <laughs> Peach slices, two of those because I have also got some cheap cake mixes, four of them. And I'm going with the whole this uh, new trend to just mix um, a cake mix and a tin of fruit together and put it in the oven and um, then you have a lovely sort of sort of cake more like a pudding and it's beautiful so that's really something simple to do for kids chocolate chip cookies I got two packets of those they were like two dollars a packet and my husband loves mint slices so we've got two packets of the Coles brand of those. I also got four packets of jelly because we actually go through four as a family when we have jelly. Now coffee, I ordered a kilogram of coffee beans and they didn't have that exact one. So they substituted 500 grams and charged me the same amount. I have already called up and rectified that. But the annoying thing is that they're going to bring me out the one kilogram one tomorrow morning and I we do the old switcheroo, which I think it's a bit of a runaround way of doing things, having to have someone come out, and that seems a bit unusual to me. Um, I would have been happy to just have a, you know, half the price of that credited to my next order or something. But anyway, that's how they want to do it. And then tomato paste. I've got two of those for a couple of things I'm making this week. Big packet of dry roasted almonds I love dry roasted almonds just a little thing of honey because I really want to get the organic raw honey at Costco is a fantastic price for the amount you get so I just got some cheap honey to get us through until I can get that and then dark roast crunchy and see I was sick guys normally I would get the no sugar or salt peanut butter but I just tried to put things in my trolley basically my online trolley Vegemite we're out of that then one of the meals I'm going to do is the stir fry. So I just grabbed these noodles because they were like half price. They were, I think they, oh, they weren't half price. I think they were about a dollar fifty each. So I thought that was pretty good though. I got a lot of breads. One thing I'm really happy about with Coles is actually their breads online and in person look nice. I think these breads look really nice. I got a, I got wholemeal and um, mixed grain mainly, and I got two whites just for fun. I also got this um, Lawson stone mill whole meal because it just seems so nice and it was on sale um, and then I got tortillas I've got two packets what am I doing I'm in the pantry I've got this is what I'm gonna make with the wraps um, I got that at the outlet store I don't know many weeks ago now so I'm gonna use that and then another thing we'll be having is I've got a couple of packets of this which does one meal for our family it's just a curry I put peas and mince through and it's super easy. I need easy this week. I just got two dozen free range eggs because I prefer the Costco price eggs. So again, I want to go to Costco. <laughs> I don't have time to be sick. It's ridiculous. Um, I got two bags of one, each bag is one kilo of the chicken breast tenders crumbed. Not something that I would normally get. But because I'm sick, I thought that would be really, really easy because anyone can whack them in the oven, do some simple veggies on the side, and that's dinner. 
and then I got two whole chickens because they were a great price actually so that's just over twelve dollars for two chickens so I'll do roast chicken one night with veggies and then this these chickens I think I'm gonna do three meals with with that although I thought I get they give me a little bit more so that might be two meals worth whatever and then two kilograms of the minced beef for a couple of different uh, meals I just got one thing of ice cream because I think we've got one in the uh, freezer already I got frozen blueberries and then I got two times 500 grams of the frozen banana chunks for smoothies I've never bought them before but they're half price so I thought I'd give them a go they cost more than buying bananas I didn't get any bananas today, obviously, but they're a bad price. I thought I'll get them at Costco. But that doesn't include the, the peel, so so you're not paying for the peel, so I thought that's still good. Three bags of broccoli. That's like, has a side with one meal for us. And three bags of stir-fry veggies for that stir-fry to make things super simple. And it has, I love uh, bamboo sheets that's got those in there, so I'm happy. Baby peas, they have like with roast, whatever. I want to get a couple of different roast things from Costco as well. And then regular just peas to put in like a curry that I'm doing. And then two bags of corn on the cob. Again, that's like, we'll do one meal for us as one of the sides. I got four milks. The Greek yogurt was not a really good price at Coles, so I just got one and I'll get the rest at Costco one block of cheese because we haven't been using it that much this week and Anthony just went out and got one block the other night so I think we've already got like a block and a half in the fridge I thought I'd just get the one block and see how we go and then three um 500 gram tubs of sour cream they were a really good price so I've got a few recipes I'm making with those and three 500 grams of butter for baking and also for on toast and sandwiches and all of that sort of thing and for creams again Anthony already got a couple the other day we mainly have that in coffee and then uh, perhaps I'm, I think I'll make some scones tomorrow morning to have with jam and cream I also got a 24 pack of water to keep in the car because as the weather gets warmer I do encourage people to fill water bottles and all that sort of thing but I find it handy to have some water in the car. Nappies for Daniel I've never tried these ones we'll see how they are and they didn't have Isaac size in those so I paid more and went ahead and got Isaac Huggies and then I've got a box of wipes. I actually ordered unscented. They've given me lightly scented, so I'm not going to complain. And then um, two toothpastes, um, some Jif um, cream that's for cleaning like bathrooms and kitchens. And then two foaming hand washers for a couple of the sinks. So a couple of things of razors. Antiseptic wipes for general cleaning. Love them. <laughs> Um, some nappy sacks, we're not really low except that because we've got a change table downstairs, a change table upstairs and then I keep some in the car. We don't have any at the downstairs change table at the moment so I'll just grab some of those. And then two in-wash boosters, see a booster, soaker, whatever you want it to be. I put it through just about every wash. Some dishwasher powder, three laundry liquids. And after I've packed everything away, I still have to put all the breads in the deep freezer, but for one or two. These I keep in my baking cupboard, which is under here. And it gets messy very quickly, but that's where I keep flour and sugar and all of that sort of thing. It means I can lock it up and it keeps it safe from little hands and also from the potential for, you know, rodents and those sorts of things and bugs. And then cans and even like jars I tend to keep under the stairs I have some shelving under the stairs and I like to stock up on cans and stuff at the moment the supply is dwindling down a bit um, I haven't been focused on it but that's where we keep cans because they're quite heavy for the shelving in the pantry and plus we're just a large family so I need to find extra space where I can get it and then this kitchen fridge now at least has some vegetables. I need to buy more vegetables and fruits from Costco. <laughs> I really need to go to Costco. Um, and that's pretty much all that I've popped into this fridge. 
I put a lot of the new frozen things in to this and that frozen fruit and stuff is there into this freezer here and then a couple of the frozen things I put in this freezer super dupers corn I still had some frozen veggies left so <laughs> we, we were gonna survive at least another day um, and then I put all the potatoes down there I've got meats there I want to get more meat at Costco oranges and the oranges last time were a great price at Costco and really nice so I will get more oranges because we're all loving them and then milk we will need to get more milk before a week and a half or so is over um soda waters sparkling waters whatever you want to call them some more eggs just put the noodles there the sour creams and everything um so yeah and then in the pantry I did find some other school snacks in the baby snack thing actually Anthony had got them some muesli bars and I just put the chocolate chip cookies in. That's all that's in there at the moment. Weekend snacks at the moment, I'm just keeping cereal in and I keep them in here. Um, I've got the spare cereal in the baby snacks thing, which is otherwise bare. Um, and then there were just a few bits and pieces that I put in here and the rice is down there. The jelly is there, but that is how it is looking at the moment and I still do need to get a few more bits and pieces as I said okay a number of hours later we have actually been to Costco got it done and I will show you what we got there we got the big Costco toilet paper passata sauce 60 eggs free range eggs they're $8.99 each so it's quite a good price for 30 eggs and then their Greek yogurt is a much better price then at Coles, $14 for three and a half litres or kilograms. And uh, cinnamon, we were all out of cinnamon. That so rarely happens. Grab this because it would go nicely with some of those tinned fruits I got earlier. There wasn't a whole array of fruit and veggies, which I was disappointed in, but I got what seemed like a good deal. So one kilogram of Gorgeous little glasshouse cherry tomatoes were, I think, was $7 something. So that was a really good deal. So I grabbed those. And the bananas were cheaper than in the regular stores at the moment. So three, seventy dollars something, I think, for 1.4 kilo. So I did get one, two, and three of the bananas. And then I just got one packet of strawberries because they were actually more expensive than last time. They were just under $10.00. 850 grams it's still cheaper than in the stores but only just the oranges were still a fantastic price because in the regular supermarkets it's three kilo for usually over six dollars this was over five dollars but it was four kilo and they're good quality too so we're mainly going to be eating oranges i got 12 tins of tomatoes for under seven dollars i think it was so that's a good deal this lovely bread was on sale for $3.99. So we had to grab that. Ava's birthday cake. She enjoys the Costco cheesecake. So we grabbed that. And then some ginger beer for which is the what's the ginger beer the equivalent of, sweetie? What's ginger beer the equivalent of? Yeah, so if you're not familiar with, with ginger beer, it's probably sort of similar to root beer. If you're familiar with that, but different as ginger. Because root beer is not ginger, is it? It's like sarsaparilla. Yeah, yeah made the same Yeah, yeah. So Ava loves ginger beer, so 12 pack of that. So it's not actual beer, it's not alcoholic. <laughs> As, as a birthday thing for Ava. Ava has chosen that she would like Savlaki tomorrow night for her birthday dinner. And the way I do that is I use roti. And this one from Costco is just so good in it. And then I put lamb in the slow cooker. I've just gotten a lamb, boneless lamb leg this time. Sometimes I get the butterfly lamb from, say, Woolworths or whatever. 
So I put this in the slow cooker and then I will, at the end of the day, shred it up and fry it. And that will give beautiful souvlaki meat. And then in the roti, we have it with, you can use tzatziki dip, but we, or a garlic aioli. We chose this garlic dip that we've never had before, but it sounded good. So have it with that. And then you can put onion in it and uh, lettuce and tomato, those sorts of things. It's really delicious. We also got more burgalicious sauce it's at Jack's request. We go through this quite quickly, quite easily. It's very nice. And Anthony chose a big thing of Skippy. They've made that even bigger now. It's huge. What is that? Four pounds. It's like two kilo. Okay, and pickles. And then we've got some grapeseed oil. We're going to use that instead of olive oil because it fries up so nicely. We also got some hummus dip. I've got two packets of Rennie. I started to get a bit of heartburn <laughs> so I stocked up on that it's a good good deal at Costco um, and ibuprofen Anthony and Panadol Rapid for me for our occasional headaches we got a variety packet of Ziploc bags because I forgot to get them in the regular shop I can use those large ones for freezer meal prep soon but we were all out of sandwich bags and then this box of shapes was a good deal compared to in the supermarkets it was eleven dollars something for 42 sort of school size snack bags so that was a good deal I did the math that seemed good and then these were not, we got a couple of boxes of these a couple of times ago because they were on sale for under $10 a pack, which was amazing. For 64 bars, we got this for $14 something this time, and it's still a fantastic deal compared to the price of muesli bars in the supermarket. Again, school snacks. So now that school snack container will actually have school snacks in it. And nice simple ones this week as I recuperate and try and sort out free freezer meal prep and that sort of thing. Okay, these um, meatballs were on sale and it worked out 50 cents a kilo more expensive than getting mince and they're like mince beef, like ground beef, and they're already rolled into balls. So super simple. That will be a really easy dinner one night to make with a spaghetti sauce sort of thing. And then also these duck fat roast potatoes. I can't remember the exact price of these. I think they were $7 something for a kilo and a half. I thought that was really good because it's little roast potato things that you just put in your oven. So again, something to just have in the freezer to make things really simple one night. I got a nice big thing of corned beef silver side for the slow cooker for our family. These little quiches were a good deal. It was $14, no, $13 something for 60, which is great. I mean, if you price mini quiches in the supermarket, they are double that price quite easily. So we're gonna have those tomorrow as part of our afternoon tea when we have guests for Abe's birthday. And then we've got bacon and some ham for kids' school lunches next week. It is Friday night right now. And then for Ava's birthday breakfast, we got some custard danishes. These are actually a really good deal. Oh, that one's upside down. Upside down, upside down. Um, so, it's over $12, but you get 12 beautiful big danishes for that. So that's a good deal. And then also, for Ava's birthday, we've got a huge thing of Smith's original chips, a huge thing of Doritos. And I've got some pork crackling as well, yum -oh. So that's it, that's my sick person recuperating shop. Um, I don't know how spot on it was. I may have forgotten a couple of items, but I think we've got enough in the pantry, fridges and freezer to get us by. And it's only just over a week and a half until the next shop anyway. So I think we've got plenty of food now. You can comment if you click on my YouTube page and click on the community tab, there will be a thumbnail for this video and you can Comment there if comments are not available underneath. Sometimes they're not at the moment due to YouTube and a bit of a kerfuffle with, yeah, enabling or disabling. 
channel's comments at the moment so i apologize for the inconvenience i'm sure they'll figure it out soon thank you for joining me bye bye